Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell you how we can find the LCM of 2, 3 or 4 numbers just by inspection or just by looking at the numbers you can tell what is the LCM of these numbers. Children at the basic level are taught the method to find the LCM that is they write the numbers like this and then they find which is the common divisor of the numbers and they carry on with the procedure. Now this is a good method at school level but when you uh, deal with the questions at competitive level these type of methods will consume lot of time. So today I am going to tell you this how in 2 or 3 seconds you can find the LCM of 4 numbers or 3 numbers and so on. First of all for understanding this you must inspect the numbers which are given and check which is the highest number. Now in this first case you have 50 as the highest number and now after marking the highest number among the given numbers you have to see how many other numbers have 50 as its multiple. I mean if we write the table of 5 we will have 50, 5 tens are 50. If we write the table of 10, 10 fives are 50. If we write the table of 25, 25 twos are 50. So all these numbers are multiples of the highest number 50. So whenever we have this situation where the highest number of all given numbers is a multiple of the remaining numbers, it is divisible by all these numbers, then we arrive at the LCM directly, the highest number is the required LCM. No need of writing this long method, just inspect and check whether the highest number is a multiple of remaining numbers or not. This is first condition. Now come to another condition. In the second problem, here we have 18 as the highest number, but we see that Although 18 exists in the table of 3, 3 6 are 18, table of 9, 9 2 are 18, but there is one number which is not a factor of 18. 18 does not exist in the table of 12. So what we do is we eliminate these numbers 3 and 9 because they are the divisors of 18 and now we can write the multiples of 18. If 18 is not divisible by 12, then just check the next multiple of 18. 18 to the 36. Now we have 36 as the next multiple of 18. Now check whether 36 is divisible by 12 or not. So obviously 12 3 is 36. So 36 is divisible by 12. So we have the LCM as 36. So cancel out all the divisors of the highest number and if there is a number which is not dividing this highest number then highest number has to be increased and subsequent multiples of this highest number will surely give you the LCM. See another case, now we have 7, 14 and 35, 35 is the highest number, 7 divides 35, 7 5 are 35 so we cancel out 7. But 14 does not divide 35. So we write next multiple of 35 which is 70. Now 14 5 the 70. 14 is a divisor of 70. So LCM is 70. See, just by inspection and by getting rid of all traditional methods, you can find the LCM by inspection. Now 8, 11, and 16. Yet another case where we have 16 as the highest number. 8 is a divisor of 16 so we cancel out 8 that is out of question now 8 we are only left with 11 and 16 now observe that this number 11 is a prime number so when we have a prime number among the numbers whose LCM is to be found out the process becomes easier we don't have to write the multiples of 16 now we just have to multiply the highest number by the prime number and there you get the LCM 176 is the answer. So in case of prime numbers the 
process of taking LCM becomes simpler. Let us take one more example, 2, 9, 13 and 18. Now in this case, 2, 9, 13 and 18, we have the highest number as 18. 2 is a divisor of 18, 2, 9 is 18. 9 is a divisor of 18, 9, 2 is 18. Only thing we are left with is 13. Now 13 is a prime number. Now whenever we have a prime number, we just multiply the highest number with the prime number. So that will give us the required answer. So, this is the process of finding the LCM in case of two numbers, three numbers, four numbers. You can just have a look at the numbers just by using basic rules of multiplication, basic rules of divisibility. You can find out the LCM of these numbers. So, we have the final answer here. 234 as the answer. How we can use this concept of LCM to find the addition and difference of rational numbers? Now see, things become so easy when we know the LCM uh, orally. Now here 10 and 25. 10 is not a factor of 25. So we write the multiples of 25. Multiples of 25. 25 to the 50. 10 divides 50. So 50 is the LCM. No need to write this. and. Just take the multiples of 25 and the, the multiple which is a divisor which uh, exactly comes in the table of 10 is the LCM. Now three, 5 to the 10, 5 5 the 25, 3 5 the 15, 7 to the 14, so answer is 29 upon 15. So all traditional methods of adding the rational numbers does not prove good when you are facing competitive exams. Yet another 9 and 12. 9 does not divide 12. So take multiples of 12. 12 to the 24. Again 9 does not divide 24. Take next multiple 36. 9 for the 36. So 36 is the LCM. Now 9 and 12 they come in the table of 3. 3 3 is a 9. 3 4 is a 12. 7 4 is a 28. 5 3 is a 15. So your answer is 13 upon 36. Likewise, you can go on and on. 7 divides 35, so LCM is 35. 7 1 the 7, 7 5 the 35, 11 5 the 55, plus 2 1 the 2, 57 upon 35 is the answer. 11 and 8, do not divide each other. 11 is a prime number, so directly you can multiply. 88 and just cross multiply. 40 minus 33, 7 upon 88. 2, 5 and 7, they are all prime numbers, so you can directly multiply 7, 5 the 35 to the 70, 35 plus 14 minus 30, so this is 19 upon 70. See friends, the concept of LCM helps us to solve so many rational number problems and things become so easier when you have the knowledge of these basic shortcuts basic methodologies through which you can find the LCM of given numbers just by inspection. So Kipla asked me to put up a, a trick for finding the LCF also. So here I am with one of the shortcuts through which you can find the HCF of 2, 3 or even 4 numbers mentally or by using just 2, 3 or 4 seconds as per the speed of your calculation. For this I am taking one example. Say we have to find the HCF of 8 and 12. Now the method involves finding the difference of the two numbers. Now if you see here the difference is 4. And through inspection you can tell that this number 8 is divisible by 4 and this number 12 is also divisible by 4. So if both the numbers are divisible by this difference then HCF of the numbers is this difference itself. This is one method wherein both the numbers have this difference as the common factor. Now let us expand this method to some other numbers. Say we have 21 and 35. 
Now if you see here, the difference here is 35 minus 21 that is 14. But 14 can be further broken into 2 factors 2 into 7. Now you see this 2 does not divide 21 and 2 does not divide 35. So if this number, this factor does not divide even one of the given numbers, then we discard this. Now come to 7. 7 is a factor of 21 because 7 3 is a 21 and 7 is a factor of 35. It divides both 21 and 35. So HCF of these two numbers is 7. Just remember we have to discard the factors which do not divide even one of the given numbers. Now let us have one more example. Say we have 27 and 32. Now here just observe that the difference of these two numbers is actually 5 and 5 does not divide 27 so we have to discard this and we are not left with any other factor. So whenever all the factors are used up that is discarded we have HCF as 1. So just remember whenever all the factors contained in the difference are discarded because they do not divide either of the numbers then the HCF of the two numbers is 1. Now let us take three numbers now. When we are given three numbers say we have one example 35, 45 and 50. In case of two numbers, we used to find the difference. Now, in case of three numbers, we can find three differences. Difference between first and second, that is 10. Difference between third and second, that is 5. And difference between first and third, that is 15. Now, out of these differences, you can write the differences in rough work say 45 minus 35 is 10 so 50 minus 45 is 5 and 50 minus 35 is 15 so out of these three differences just select the difference which is the least so we will write the least difference between two selected numbers out of these three numbers so here we have the differences so 5 is the least so least difference is 5 now just check as we used to do here, just check whether 5 divides 35, yes, 5 divides 45, yes, and 5 divides 50, yes. So HCF of these three numbers is 5. Remember, if 5 was not a factor of even one of these three numbers, then this would have been discarded and the HCF would have been 1. Likewise, you can take some more examples to understand the concept in a better way. Say we have 12, 30 and 84. Now here the least difference. You can find that least difference by inspection. Say 30 minus 12 is 18. Here the difference is 54 and here the difference is much larger. So that least difference is 30 minus 12 that is 18. Now this 18 can be further broken into factors we have 2 into 3 into 3 18 now just inspect this 2 2 divides 12 2 divides 30 2 divides 84 so we can select this 2 we cannot discard this because because it is a factor of all the three numbers now when we divide 12 by 2 we get 6 when we divide 30 by 2 we get 15 and when we get eight, uh, divide 84 by 2, we get 42. So we have selected 2 and the numbers have reduced to 6, 15 and 42. Now check the second factor. 3 divides 6, 3 divides 15 and 3 divides 42. So we have to select this. And after selection, just reduce. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 
and 42 divided by 3 is 14. Now check the third one. Here we have 2. So 3 does not divide 2. 3 does not divide 5. So we discard. So we have only two factors which are selected. So the HCF of these three numbers is 2 into 3 that is 6. Likewise, you can extrapolate this method and find the HCF of some larger numbers also. Say we have, I will take one more example. Say we have the numbers as 150, 210 and one more number say 300. Now see the least difference. So this difference gives us 60 which is the least difference. 60 can be further broken down into factors. So we have the factors as 2 remaining 30, 3 remaining 10, another 2 and 5. So 2, 3, 2, 5 is the uh, factorization of this least difference 60. Now inspect 2 into 5. This is 10. We have all ending up with zeros. So obviously these three numbers are divisible by 10. So what is left behind is 15, 21 and 30. So I have removed one zero. Now check with 3. 3 5s are 15. 3 7s are 21. And 3 10s are 30. Now we have to cancel out 2. Why? Because it is not a factor of 5 and 7. So the HCF of these three numbers is the selected one is 2, 3 and 5 which equals 6, 5, 30 which is the required HCF. So students you can learn this method, you can practice by taking some more numbers and I am sure by giving this a practice of 7 to 8 minutes you can master this concept and most of the HCF problems you can solve orally within 4 to 5 seconds of time. So keep learning and keep enjoying, share and subscribe the channel if you like it.